Hey everybody. As promised, Miriam is not here. It's just me. I'm, I'm Chris, one of the co-founders, uh, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the little bell icon. That way you'll get notified. Uh, if you are subscribed and you hit the little bell icon and you're not getting notified, it might be because you have notifications for the app turned off on your phone, if that's where you're looking for them. Anyway, uh, looks like Luke is on time. <laughs> Glenda wants to know where everybody is this morning. Probably sleeping in. The Two Crazy Ketos, I think they did their Keto on the Couch as a recorded uh, video instead of uh, posting, doing it live. Anyway, uh, well, this is good morning. I hope you are having an amazing Monday. I know I am. Looks like Carrie is here. So is Nan. Lynn says uh, tea for drought areas. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, um, Shauna is here. So is uh, Nancy and Lindahl with the big giant beard in Cross, Wisconsin. Wow. Sharon's here. So is Rick Wynn and Jacques. Uh, Eddie says, good morning, everyone. It's good to be back. <laughs> Carrie says, just Chris. That's me. I'm just Chris. Uh, Miriam actually got up at 3 o'clock this morning. Actually, she might have gotten them. Her goal was to leave the house at 3. She actually left the house at 3.15, which was okay. Uh, that gave her enough time to get to the airport. And she's she apparently made her uh, flight to Denver, and then she's going to Wis No. Not Wisconsin. Michigan. Michigan and Wisconsin are not the same place. Anyway, so she was on her way to uh, Michigan. I almost said Wisconsin again. On her way to Michigan. That's where she's at. Uh, Klista is here. Luke says, need a cardboard stand for Miriam. I've actually got... Where is Miriam? Where is Miriam? I've got a Miriam. Where did she go? Miriam is missing. That's right. It's There you go. There's Miriam. Oh, I had one at the top. <laughs> anyway, there's Miriam. Um, yeah, I've got a uh, I've got that. LaShawn says salute. Debbie says good morning from Santa Clara, California. Uh, Susan is here. Luke says apologize if I spell her name. She actually gets her name spelled wrong a lot. Um, and that's okay. I uh, always, my last name is also always, um, spelled, people put an L in there for whatever reason, and I always sing in my head, no L, no L, there's no L in bear. Anyway, and I laugh to myself. Uh, Blaze is here, so is Patty and Bob. Mike says good morning. And he says, I made it live. Nice. Uh, let's see. And he says, love you guys. Lynn says, I love the lemon keto chow. Um, I really like lemon keto chow, too. It's surprisingly one of my favorites. Um, in fact, I think I did that for almost a week straight once. Because we had a whole bunch of it. And I just kept using it over and over and over again. And pro probably because we were out of chocolate peanut butter. Which we're still out of chocolate peanut butter at my house. Mike says, Wisconsin. Yep. Uh, Shauna says, I, think, I still think it's funny Chris stays on his side. Well, if I go over here... And people are like, what are you doing? Anyway, it's where I sit. It's where the mouse is and where the control box is, too. People say, stay on your side. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Gina's here. So is Kathy. Dorothy says, I wish I was on my way to Wisconsin, not Michigan. <laughs> it was my great-granddaughter's birthday this last weekend. I missed the party. Oh, man. It was oh first birthday. Well, the funny thing about that is they don't remember. <sighs> Silly kids. Um... Let's see. Michelle says, working and listening. Oh, and Susan says, the autocorrect likes to add the L. I bet it does. Um, my leg is itchy. Meg says, good morning. Well, I'm listening at work. Well, awesome. Mary says, I mixed 12 peanut butter in a row. Love it. Um, I actually, I was supposed to mix up some keto chow last night, but I didn't get to it. I'm going to do it um, today because... Miriam's gone, and I'm trying to mix up some for my daughter, Kate, who is doing Dr. Boz's higher fat protocol. Um, we're also going to, together, 
watch um, Amy Carnivore's Angels videos where she interviews Dr. Boz um, so that Kate can get some more of the, hopefully some of the technical details about um, the different stuff that's going on as far as doing the higher fats. It's not lower protein. It is you're sticking to total carbs and you're doing a higher fat protocol. Um, but anyway, I, was, I needed to mix up some keto chows for her with higher fat in it. I didn't get to it. Probably because I have really a lot of keto chow in the fridge from new batches that I had to test before they went into production. But those should actually be going into production soon. And hopefully some of the stuff that you've seen out of stock on the website will be coming back into stock, not blueberry. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> uh, Joanne says, uh, have a great day, everyone. Mark says, my new favorite flavor is half peanut butter and half banana. That is really good, by the way. Um, I did a Ninja Creamy on Saturday that was the banana keto chow with peanut flour in it. And it was delicious. And I have one more at home. I need to make a, a bunch more. Uh, Bob says, I asked customer service a question about keto chow flavor, and now I keep getting follow-up emails asking why I haven't bought it yet. I ha how do I stop these emails? So the follow-up emails, um, if you add something to your cart and you're logged into your keto chow account, it will send you an abandoned cart email. We actually have run into this where people added blueberry pie to their cart and it, it's been sending them follow-up emails saying, hey, looks like your cart has abandonment issues or hey, are you still interested in this flavor? And they were like, yeah, I am. How about you sell it to me instead of being out of stock? And we're like, oh, I wonder if we can add a sanity check to that to try to see if we can keep it from sending abandoned cart emails to stuff that's out of stock. So we're actually working on that. but. Um, you can unsubscribe to the emails. There's a little thing down at the bottom. Or ask customer service to kick you out of that flow. And uh, it also just eventually stops after, I think, like a week. Uh, Luke says, nerd, nerd, nerd. The new Ender 3 VTU Neo and Ender 3 Max are headed my way. Nice. I've been really looking at, uh, there were two Kickstarters. There was the Anchor, um, the Anchor Make. That one was really tempting. And then I'm trying to remember the other one, but it had a, a four-spool holder on the top. That one was really interesting, too. Uh, one of the issues... Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where's my computer talk? Ah, there it's we go. Time now um, for one of the issues talk. with 3D printers, for those of you who don't have, it, have no um, experience with them, is they're very, very finicky, and it's a lot of hands-on to get them to work. It's not like you get a new laser printer and you connect it and you put the ink in and then you print. It's not like that at all. There's a lot of hands-on in order to get 3D printers to work. And so a lot of these new printers, they're trying to make it so that it's a lot closer to plug and play. And a lot, it's easier to get consistent results for a novice because there is a bit of a steep learning curve if you want to get into it. Um, and for any of you who have no idea what 3D printers are, it is a glue gun on a computer-controlled arm that squirts out stuff and makes things. <laughs> Which is a gross oversimplification. John says, I did get, I get to go renew my driver's license today. Nice. I actually look like my picture now. Dorothy says, did apple pie keto chow and the creamy last night with caramelized pecans as a mix-in? Tonight, keto chow, root beer keto chow in a root beer float. That sounds Awesome. Rick Wynn says the best video of Dr. Boz for her protocols and ratios are from 2019. Thank you. I will remember that. I do want to watch the videos of her talking to um, Amy, though, because I'm optimistic that they're going to get into some of the questions and answers um, that people are, are going to uh, have with that. Carrie says, I'm going to drink my last blueberry pie that I want. You now officially have had more blueberry pie than I have had, Carrie. Because <laughs> I only got one. <laughs> Carrie likes my shirt. Uh, Sean says, I had salted caramel to my banana chocolate mix for a creamy. It was yummy. Jackie says, I'm mostly listening. Rough day at work. Minor motorcycle accident. Whoa, Saturday. Sore back and shoulder. I'm sorry to hear that. On the bright spot. 
I got a hold of a creamy, so after beef butter, bacon, and eggs is over in October, I can have quinoa chow ice cream. I mean, you could make ice cream right now with some ground beef, but that would be terrible. Rana says, good morning, Chris, not Miriam. Yep, that's right. Blaze says, uh, Kate needs to come join us in Amy's Mighty Network VIP section, or the free section, ask her questions. I'm more supportive about Dr. Bosman. That, I, I'm going to have to check that out. Um, she's actually working with Tammy, who Two Crazy Ketos did an interview. They posted their interview with her. Um, because Miriam talked to Tammy a lot at uh, Keto Con. And so Kate's been working with her. So, but Blaze, I'm going to have to have her check that out. Uh, let's see. Andrew says, not a big deal, but it is. But is the little bottle not included anymore with the big bottle? You are correct. Um, the. The little bottle is no longer included with the big one. We do have the little bottle separately. We actually found that it was creating, it was creating major problems with Amazon to have that little bottle included. Um, and so we stopped including it. Um, right about the time that we started making the dropper bottle size, uh, we put the process in place to take out the little bottle. Um, there are still, actually, the magnesium drops, we still have a lot of them that have the little bottle prepackaged in a box. But if you order just one of these guys and nothing else, the little bottle and the box tip the scales at just over 13 ounces, which is too much to send it by first class mail. And so if you order the magnesium drops in the, in the 250 mil or 8.3 uh, ounce bottle with anything else, it will come in the box with the little bottle still because it's not like we're going to throw them away. That'd be silly. Um, but yeah, the, the, the electrolyte drops and the fasting drops, I think, don't come with it because those are all gone. We just have the bottles now. Anyway, there you go. Um, yeah. I hope I answered that question well. Shana says, that's uh, what I have to do. I test, turning 55, a couple weeks, and DMV thinks I'm going blind. Oh, wow. Susan says, I received an email from Keto Chow that I vanished. Wow. Uh, so uh, Luke says, Soval S4 Index, if you want multi-material. So it's not that one. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. But it was on Kickstarter, and I almost backed it, but they only had the really expensive one still. And I was like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. I don't use my 3D printer enough to have two of them. If I bought that one, I would have to sell the other one, and I don't have the time to get into it right now. JC says, I just got both the My Chow and Surprise My Chow. Love that I have can have control and some variety. I love to mix up vanilla or cookies and cream with some flavoring. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. The cookies and cream is actually my preferred one to mix up with other flavors. Uh, let's see, Susan says, I always try to pass the eye test without my glasses because at times I will drive with non-prescription sunglasses. So far, I'm still good. We will see next year. I have to wear glasses in order to pass the eye exam, which is fine. I, I just use the little clip-on sunglasses and look like a complete tool, but I don't care. Um, J-Dog is here. Welcome, J-Dog. Oh, LaShawn has two blueberry pie left. See, more than I have. The gene is going to watch on the TV. <laughs> nice. Uh, and see, Carrie says, yeah, ice cream made out of beef brisket, right? Uh, Luke says, I'm not keeping up well. Blueberry happened, and I missed it. it. It it was fewer than six hours from start to sold out. Um, I still am hoping that we will be able to get um, blueberry pie the, at least finished. And Miriam's not here to stop me. Anyway. Because we, we originally ordered a much larger batch, well, twice the amount of blueberry pie, but because of the acacia gum situation, we weren't able to get all of that made and still be able to get banana singles back in stock. So I'd at least like to finish that order. If and when that happens, unfortunately, I have no idea when that. It's just going to show up, and we will announce it. Um, you can... Da, da, da. You can go on the Keto Chow site and go to the blueberry pie that sold out. 
and you can click on this notify me when available. Uh, by the way, this may be blocked by a pop-up, by, by an ad blocker if you can't see it. Um, I've got uh, uBlock Origin and I have to say, do not block anything on Keto Chat. Anyway, if you do this notify me when available, it will let you know when we're going to, if, if and when we have it back in stock. And we won't, if we get it, we will only put it back in stock when we like physically have it in our hands, which is what we do. Uh, Lord Pennsylvania says, I had a pop-up uh, ad from Walmart selling individual packets of Keto Chat for $8. Wow, okay. That is how much we sell it on Walmart and Amazon for because of the additional costs involved in selling on those websites. Uh, Amazon in particular charges nearly 20% just for the privilege of it being listed on Amazon. That's not even including the fulfillment by Amazon, the prime shipping. That's just an extra 20% just for listing it there. Uh, so we do charge considerably more on Amazon and Walmart and eBay than we do on our own website. And then you don't get the rewards and you can't use any coupon codes as well. So, uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. People talking back and forth saying hi to Rick Wynn, right? Um, Dorothy says, I think you can make an egg gelatin ice cream that's okay with beef butter, bacon, and egg. Uh, ketogenic woman did it. Oh, okay. Uh, LaShawn wants to know, why is our daughter doing Dr. Bob's protocol? Um, to help with depression. And, yeah. Joanne says, sound is low. Do I not have this one on? Of course I don't have this one on. I only have Miriam's on. Why would I have mine on? There it is. Is it louder now? <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, Joanne. <laughs> Sean says, whoa, I just, I just lost after the first little bottle. I got lost out of the first little bottle. Okay. Uh, LaShawn says, I ordered uh, the big bottle of luxury ice. I didn't realize it came with that big. Oh, the really big one, the 550 milliliter? Yeah, it's like twice the size. We don't have the magnesium drops in that size. Um, we have the electrolyte drops and the fasting drops, but it's probably really loud now. Luke says, multicolor is too wasteful. I agree with you on that one. Kel says, I almost miss you. Hello, Chris and everyone. Welcome, Kel. Uh, Andrew says, thank you. What do I do to get the dropper? Oh, let me show you. Do, do, do. So we're going to go to the supplements. Um, so if, like magnesium drops. You've got the 120 milliliter with dropper. The 250 milliliter refill size that you'll notice it doesn't have a little one anymore. And then the 24 milliliter pocket size. Um, so this one, the 120 milliliter has the dropper. So, and then with the, to go back to what other people were talking about, uh, with the electrolyte drops, you also have the 550 size and then the tablets as well. So there's actually quite a few sizes on the electrolyte drops. Um, <laughs> 68 is running on the treadmill watching. Nice. Uh, Sheila is here. Uh, Sean says, if I look at an eye chart with, without glasses, it's blank. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jan says, hi, y'all. I have the electrolyte drops and minerals. I'm stocked up with on them and element. Nice. Uh, Dorothy says, I also have my, my chow surprise and one later in the month that I pick my flavors. I also like surprise and know what I like. Perfect. Uh, Kristen says, I tried uh, salted caramel for the first time yesterday. So good. Awesome. Janet says, I want pumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> um, pumpkin will be coming out sometime in the fall. I don't have an exact date yet because we're still waiting for them to actually make it. And we're not going to re release it or even tell you that it's coming until we actually have it in our hands. Because, again, stuff keeps on happening and we keep on not getting stuff when they say that they're going to have it. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to under-promise and over-deliver. If you haven't noticed that yet, let me tell you straight up. Uh, I always want to do that. I want to have people pleasantly surprised that they... Uh, that stuff is available when they didn't think it was going to, or, yeah, I want to do better than you're expecting. Uh, Kathy says, I have an order coming today. I'm going to share with my doctor. Nice. Kathy says, oh, no, that, I already read that one. Dorothy says, I didn't get blueberry so sad. I only got one. Uh, Kristen says, I mix with uh, a personal blender. It works perfectly. There you go. 
Um, well, Sean says, is our chocolate toffee singles coming back in stock? Maybe. I don't know when, but we're working on it. They, they will be getting back in stock. I just can't tell you when exactly. That might have been one of the things I was testing on Friday. Who knows? I might have one in the fridge right now that I'm going to drink for breakfast. Who knows? Well, depends because I have to, whenever we get a new batch, I have to compare it to what's on the shelf and the new stuff to make sure that they match. Uh, yes, Janice says Amazon's just got to get their money. That's right. Well, Lord Pennsylvania says that's why I tell people to buy direct from the side. Kirsten says sounds fine. Diane says I have a question about people saying you need more protein than listed when using the macro calculator. So let's go to the macro calculator. So, bum, bum, bum. wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, so we're going to do imperial. We'll just use female age. We'll do age 45. Why not? Weight in pounds. We'll do 190. Height in inches. Uh, five feet is 60. So we'll do 66. Why not? Uh, don't know body fat percentage. Um, we're going to do weight loss. Uh, sedentary. Okay, so it's recommending... 1450 calories a day, 96 grams of protein per day, which actually sounds about right to me. Um, if you use chronometer to calculate your macros, your protein, it's going to give you an insanely low number that is not correct at all. Um, and you can use the calculator here on our site. You can use Maria Emmerich's calculator. Um, but you and and protein is you want to hit at least that amount it's a target like a lower limit going above it is not a problem at all uh, protein doesn't turn into cake uh, there was a some there was some bad information years ago that gluconeogenesis would cause an overage of protein to turn into glucose Gluconeogenesis, which is the converting of stuff into glucose, is driven by your body's demand for glucose, not the availability of a substrate to create glucose. It's not supply-driven. Interestingly enough, gluconeogenesis, which happens in your liver, can be run using either protein or the glycerol that is a component of a triglyceride, which is also known as fat. If gluconeogenesis was supply-driven, then you wouldn't want to eat fat or protein because that fat supplies the glycerol that can be used for gluconeogenesis. That's a lot of stuff, um, but the takeaway is you really don't need to be concerned about an overage of protein. Most people are not getting enough protein. Um, and generally speaking, I don't know very many people that need fewer than 90 grams of protein a day. Most men need like 110 or 120. So, um, yeah. And, and, and it's, it's not going to be a problem to get more than that. So, if, And if you are getting more protein than what's listed on the macro calculator, good on you. Um, the, the key thing is to get fewer than the number of carbs that are recommended on the macro calculator. Uh, let's see. Kel says, much better. There you go. <laughs> Kerry says, I could hear Chris when, when he said his mic was on. Well, the reason for that is I did turn on Miriam's microphone even though she's not here, and put it on the desk pointing at me. Because usually, I have my microphone set to uh, six decibels lower than Miriam's because I tend to project my insecurities, and she tends to talk quietly. And so her, most of what you hear of me talking is actually her microphone. And then it's also uh, picking up hers. Luke says audio dropped temporarily. Well, it should be working great now. 
Uh, LaShawn says, magnesium, uh, don't need to come in that size, the bigger size. Takes a few months to go. I agree with you that this one takes a long time to get through. That's kind of the reason why we haven't introduced the larger size. Uh, let's see, Margie is here. Hi, Margie. Jan says, I'm going to get one surprise box and I haven't made up my mind yet. Mike says, how's new Acacia testing going? Um, all of the Acacia that I've tested has worked perfectly. Um, we've now tested it from like four or five different suppliers and it's all just worked great. It hasn't impacted the flavor. It hasn't impacted the mixability or any of that. And so we've, I've just been approving stuff. I've been testing it thoroughly, but all the stuff has been tested. And so the new supply that they were able to get might be arriving in late August. But again, I can't tell you for sure because it'll just show up when it does. And eh. <laughs> J-Doc says, I like overpromise and underdeliver. <laughs> yes, yeah, so do my kids. Sean says, uh, well, Sean says, I need blueberry pie before pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Lord says, when do you get pumpkin? Uh, when you get pumpkin, I want to try pumpkin truffles. They are fantastic. Also, the pumpkin sausage soup. Oh, which I should make this week. I that was one thing I was going to talk about. Um, I went to Sam's Club on Friday. Saturday, and bought a whole bunch of meat. Just a bunch of meat. Um, today we're having southern style ribs that I put into the crock pot. Tomorrow we're having uh, taco guts, which is, I'm just going to make a giant thing of taco meat, and then throw the taco soup keto chow into it to soak up all of the juices and make a delicious gravy. Um, and then we'll have that um, on, when, let's see, on Wednesday, I think we're having, yes, we're having hamburgers that I'm going to smoke in the smoker. Thursday, we're having pork chops. And Friday, I think Friday, we're having uh, salmon. So I'm all set up. But I still have some of the pumpkin. Mm, I should make some of the pumpkin sauce soup. Although I was thinking also of making some of Joe's keto chow chili which is another fantastic recipe that maybe I'll do that for Sunday. Miriam will be home by then. Uh, Margie says, I can't wait for pumpkin spice. Sylvia is here. Welcome, Sylvia. Uh, Janice says, good morning. Uh, Janice is thankful my big bag of chocolate toffee had mine with hot coffee this morning. <laughs> um, let's see. Carrie says, how, how the keto chaff studied when Chris tested it? Uh, it? It studies really hard. Miriam is here on the comments. Old well, Pennsylvania says, I want to thank Kiyosha family for helping me get to Wonderland for the first time since 2005. That's fantastic. Uh, let's see. Lots of people saying hi to Miriam. Sean says, protein doesn't turn into cake. Nearly did a spit take all over my screen. You owe me a new keyboard. Um, but, th well, that was kind of the, uh, the notion that having too much protein would turn into glucose. And the, the, the way that a lot of people in the community have come to talk about that is that protein doesn't turn into cake. Um, you also can't add fiber to something to reduce the amount of carbohydrates. You can't add celery to cake and make it fewer carbohydrates is another fun one that we talk, like to talk about. Kel says, I use the numbers I got on your website and manually put them in the chronometer. It's all good. Nice. That's what I'm going to be doing with Kate tonight. We're going to sign her up for chronometer gold. Uh, oh, Carrie made a brisket because it was cheap. I cooked it in the oven at 300 degrees for about four hours, let it rest for a good while, and sliced it. Nice. Do not be afraid of brisket. It's not as hard as you think it is. Uh, let's see, Sonia says, I'm happy for a long life of electrolytes as I found a large size electrolyte bottle. Unopened, I forgot I purchased. Nice. Uh, Mass says, did you update the macro calculator at some point? I don't remember the protein to fat ratio and being one to one in the last time I looked. It's not one to one. Um, so uh, with this one, it's, it's recommending for this hypothetical 45-year-old female that's 190 pounds and 5 foot 6, it's recommending 96 grams of protein and 116 grams of fat. Um, we did update it. Now, that also depends on what um, activity goal you choose and what is your weight loss goal. For instance, this one did less fat and more protein, or the same amount of protein, actually. The protein and the uh, carbs stay 
consistently um, the same, almost without fail. <laughs> I had no. Oh, was I not sharing? Sorry. I thought I was showing. Apparently I wasn't. Mike says Acacia is a lot more things in keto, in a lot more things in keto chest, so the shortage is going to affect a lot of foods. Yeah. Uh, Lynn says, oh man, pumpkin sausage soup. I'm putting that on my menu this week. Yeah, Sharon says it's louder now. Jenna says, I have two blueberry bushes, so I pick and eat and put a few of those in the freezer. Nice. That's awesome. Lynn <laughs> says, Chris, you're making me hungry. I'm adding the chili to my menu as well. Oh, Luke is going to do fresh salmon catching next week. That is amazing. I'd love to get some of that. Notice I didn't say do some of that because I like other people to catch the fish for me. Um, when I would go on scout camps as a kid, I never brought fishing gear with me because everybody else did. And they would catch all this fish and then they wouldn't, they'd be like more than they wanted to eat. And they'd be like, hey, Chris, do you want some fish? It's cleaned and gutted. I'm like, yes, I do. And sometimes it was already cooked too. <laughs> John says, you mean my body doesn't need fiber math? No, it doesn't. April is also looking forward to eggnog. Uh, Jackie says, I had pumpkin spice Starbucks K-cup coffee this morning, and it was cooler than it has been in months. <laughs> there you go. Kim says, how many crock box do you need for ribs in your for our family? So usually I'm doing, it's a larger crock pot. I think it's a six, or no, maybe it's an eight quart. Um, it was an entire package, though, of the southern style ribs that I got at Sam's Club. Generally speaking, if I'm going to make the pumpkin sausage soup, I will fill up two or three crock pots because I like to make enough for there to be at least some leftovers. Um, our kids really like the pumpkin sausage soup, like really, really like it. And then the, if we don't freeze the leftovers, they're usually gone within a day. That's doing two giant crock pots. So uh, Janice says, like, I can't ever see y'all screen anyway, or Joe's when you pull up the screen. Well, okay, so there we go. See, now I'm sharing for real. And I can tell because if I, uh, yeah, see. Ooh, there's the screen. I mean, am I, I, I try to zoom in on it so you can actually see what I'm doing. But anyway, uh, Matt says, when I put the amounts in the Mac, that's weird. It did switch over to the, oh, I know, because of the new flavors thing. Maybe I was sharing earlier, and it just, when it switched back. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. Mike says, sounds fishy to me. Kel says, I lived in Alaska for 20 years. I think I have caught and eaten more salmon than most people do in a lifetime. That doesn't sound terrible to me at all. Uh, Lance says, I always make the sausage soup recipe times six in a huge pot. It freezes well. Yes. Yes, it does freeze extremely well. Uh, Janice says, I saw it then. <laughs> um, let's go. <laughs> J-Dog says, there's a happy little note for you. So uh, today, my, my thing of note, Kate came in with me early to work because I was going into work at around 7. Um, I, it looks like the Two Crazy Kios did their video just as a recording today, so I had some time. So I decided to talk to Adobe. We now have nine employees that have a full Adobe Creative Cloud license. And we were switching them over from individual accounts to team accounts. But the, the guy I was talking to, Jayesh just wasn't doing a very good job of understanding. And I felt bad because he kept interrupting me. And I kept telling him, Jayesh, stop interrupting me. Meanwhile, my daughter's over here playing Minecraft, waiting for uh, work to start listening to her dad try to talk to the sales rep to get them to understand I wanted nine licenses, not ten. <sighs> so I got super worked up about I'm I'm actually doing pretty good now because uh, I got to talk to you guys, and so I'm a lot more chill. <laughs> there is it's been hot in Oregon. Thank heavens I did a lot of Food prep that I heap in the Pyrex. Now I have a leaning tower of Pyrex to clean. <laughs> Richard says, I'm new to the channel. What was the website you had on a second ago uh, for? So what that was, that is on ketochow.xyz. If you go under learn and you go to the macro calculator, um, that's where it'll help you figure out for your height and weight and all that other stuff. Um, 
here's what we're recommending as far as the amount of protein, carbohydrates, fat, all that sort of stuff to you to do. Uh, let's see. Sheila, Shelda, ooh, I almost said Sheila. Actually, I probably did. I did a whole brisket, 10 hours, 250 in the oven. I only used Redmond season on both sides to cook with the fat on top so the juices go through the meat. It's better than roast and half the price. It is funny how cheap, um, or inexpensive rather. I'm not going to say that any meat is cheap right now, but brisket can a lot of times be had for a lot less. <laughs> Sean says, I usually, after about seven minutes, ask for someone else. The funny thing is, while I was on a call with a guy, was also in a support chat. And the support chat guy was like, oh yeah, I see the problem. Let me get this, es this escalated. We'll get you taken care of. I'm like, thank you. Thank you very much. Here's your case number. Thank you. I have to go to a meeting now, but I really appreciate you helping me out with this. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna go. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Um, we'll be, I'll, I'll, we'll, I will, be doing the live stream tomorrow night again alone. Miriam's in Michigan. Um, and maybe I'll actually go to sleep at a decent time because I'll make the kids uh, go to bed at like 8. Who knows? Um, anyway, you all have a fantastic day and we'll catch you tomorrow.